Hey guys, it's 27 Tima here. I'm going to go over all the discs I have right now. This will be episode, I believe, 3. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go over all the discs I have. This is not my in-the-bag video. That will be coming next, but I'm just going to show you every disc I have in my room right now. So, as most people start, I'm going to start this way. Distance drivers. Um, I've got a huge variety of dif dis uh, distance drivers. Um, different brands, different types, different weights, of course, different colors, or all that kind of stuff. So, I'll start with this. Um, I've got the Star Vulcan, 175, yellow. It's a nice disc. I've got a Beast, a DX Beast, it's a 175. It's a pretty good disc. I've got Discraft Force. It's a pretty nice disc. Um, I've got a Discraft Avenger, it's a 169, it's a nice disc. Got a Champion Beast, it's um, I don't know the weight on it, but it's a nice disc. Uh, this is a Star T-Rex, it's a pretty good disc, it's got this funky lime color on it, it's a, it's a pretty good disc, it's a 171. Um, got a used DX Wraith. 172. Uh, I've got a Star Sidewinder. Um, I don't have a weight on there, but yeah. It's a, it's a decent disc. I don't throw it much, but it's a pretty good disc if you're a roller or a side armor. Brand new Champion Wraith. It's a 175. I've got. Um, the fourth annual Prairie Open 2006. This is a white Valkyrie. It's a 175. I've got Star Katana. Don't know the weight on this, but it's a nice disc. Goes far and goes straight. Um, my first and only Blizzard Champion disc. It's a T Devil. It was a nice disc, but I don't like it because it's too light for me. It just it doesn't work. I've got a Discraft Crush. It's kind of a used, older disc. I also have, this is a Gateway Diablo DT. It's a 170 with this funky, like, I don't know, grip. The dimple grip. I have a Discraft Surge SS. It's a long driver. I've got a blue Pro Valkyrie 170. A nice disc. Ken Klima. 12 time Star Wraith. It's a nice disc. Don't know the weight on it. Uh, this is a really old, kind of crappy Pro Starfire. It's a 170. It's, uh, it's decent. I use it for water shots. If, I, if I'm in a risky situation, I'll use that because I don't mind losing that because it's an older disc. This is my Innova Groove. Don't know the weight on it, but it's a nice disc. My Echo Star Valkyrie found this disc. Sucks forever lost it because it's a really nice disc. It's a 175. It's pink colored. Then I have my lightest Valkyrie. It's a red. Um, Christian's Sans Drian or whatever. It's a it's a really light. It's a 150 Star Valkyrie with a, like an orange or bronze stamp on it. So it's pretty cool. Then I've got my Champion Valkyrie, it's a 155. Um, it's a pretty nice disc. Use it for a lighter shot. Then I've got a Star SL, it's a 166. It's a, it's a decent disc, it'll go far if you put it right. This is my pretty old Champion Beast, um, <clears throat> 175. Thing goes forever. I use it more than that other newer Champion Beast. I don't know why, but it just I think it works better. Um, this is my other Discraft Surge SS. I like this one better. It's tie dye. And finally, I have brand new Innova Champion Monster 167. So that's it for all my distance drivers. I shouldn't say that's it. That's a whole stack, which is huge. Oh, uh, next I'll go to. Uh, fairway drivers. Um, I've got my Innova Eagle. This is the Ken Klimo 11 time. 
World Championship. Got an Innova DX Archangel. It's a nice disc. It's a 170, 173. I got another Eagle. This is a DX Eagle. It's really old, pretty crappy. That's like a water disc. Throw it in there. I don't care. I'll never see it again. It's a 172. And then one of my new, well, my newest. I got a DX T Bird. I wanted to try it out. Someone recommended it to me. That's a 175. When people recommend me discs, I either go with the DX, or if I really know it's a good disc, then I'll buy Champion or Star. Um, then I'll go to my mid-ranges. My favorite, of course, it's got to be the Paul McBeth 2012 World Championship Rock 3 in this orange color. It looks freaking amazing. Then I have the Nate Doss 3-time Titanium Buzz. That's a straight disc. Puts you You put it where you want it. And it'll go there. And it's just it's an all good disc. This is um, an R Pro Rock Plus. It's a nice disc. If I want to have, if I'm in the woods and I have a risky shot that I want to use my Rock Three on, but I don't want to like really put a dent in it, I'll pull this out and it's, an, it's a really good disc. Goes a little further than my Rock Three, but I think that's just because I'm more cautious with my Rock Three. This is a Champion Panther. It's a 162. It's a lighter disc. It's very good for Anheuser's. It goes right. Um, and then my first mid-range. It's a DX Cobra. And of a 168. It was a nice disc, but I don't throw it anymore because it's just getting old. And then finally, I got Potters. I got a pretty crappy Rhino. This is a Pro Rhino. It's for like water, close water shots and wherever there's big trees or a lot of trees for a short hole I'll throw that because I don't mind getting that cranked up a little bit my main putter this thing I throw all the time it's an aviar classic aviar it's a 172 that's what, that's what most of my putters are this is a an Innova Rhino DX 169 and then I've got the Polecat it's a 175 DX it's pretty good I have too many putters, too many distance drivers. Yeah, I'll show you my in the bag later. I take out about a third of these and I put them in my bag. There's just too many to have all of them, <laughs> way too many. But um, tell me what kind of discs you guys liked, or what kind of discs you guys want to recommend me, because I'm I'm willing to go try new discs. You know, like I I'm not a veteran in this sport yet, so I'm still getting used to new discs and trying new discs got many discs to try If you guys are interested in buying any of my discs just let me know because I'm, I'm selling them all the time even my favorite discs I just sold two of them the other day uh, the, um, Star Boss and I had a Pro Destroyer sold it for um, quite a few bucks but yeah um, tell me what you liked I'll, um, I'm going to be making reviews on almost all of these so well as long as I don't sell them before uh, so uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.